coffee beans hope you guys are loving and taking care of yourselves welcome to my morning shower routine i know it's going to seem a little bit extra but then some of the steps are only done weekly or bi-weekly and today i decided to have some cranberry juice while going through my planner and then i made my bed as per usual before hopping into the bathroom So first things first is oral hygiene and I went in with these little cute floss items which I really love and then went in with some regular schmegular Colgate and brushed my teeth. And the last step for my oral hygiene is this Colgate mouthwash. I ran out of my normal size one, so I actually had to steal this from my handbag. And the next step, besties, is only done weekly, which is my favorite Himalaya detoxifying charcoal mask. If you've watched my lives, then you already know how much of a fave this is in this house. So I put this mask on and keep it on for my pre-shower steps, and then I rinse it off when I'm in the shower. So bi-weekly, I actually dry brush before hopping into the shower. I use this My Earth Exfoliating Brush from Clix. It's actually a bamboo brush and I just use it to smooth all over my skin. I usually do this on days when I have my wax appointments because I realize that having perfectly exfoliated skin actually helps my wax lady to have a cleaner pool. I then hop into the shower for my body care routine and the first step is washing the little bit of hair that I have. It's more so a scalp treatment and I've been absolutely loving this peppermint and apple cider vinegar shampoo by Aunt Jackie's. The peppermint gives you this nice sensation, you know when you put sanitize on your hands and then you wave them in the air? Yes, exactly that. And apple cider vinegar is already a well-known ingredient for helping with dandruff and all of that bad stuff. So TMI, um, when I first cut my hair, I was literally just using shower gel from head to toe. So I went to cut for the second time and it was so disgusting because there was dandruff literally falling everywhere. And that is when my barber suggested that I go and cop me a peppermint or apple cider vinegar shampoo and I found one that has both. So I highly suggest you guys get this because it's on Jackie's. On Jackie's is good for natural hair as well. So despite it having apple cider vinegar, it will not dry out your hair. I then go in with this tea tree conditioner. I really love this stuff because it also gives me that same sensation. Tea tree oil is known to improve overall scalp health. And as a bald baddie, do not ditch the shampoo or the conditioner as well because conditioner will help you keep your head moisturized to prevent any flaking and dryness of your scalp. I then go in with my Sunic Zero shower gel and my Clix exfoliating mitt. I really love this shower gel for this cold season because the absence of the harsher ingredients that you'd find in other shower gels makes sure that your skin isn't being stripped of its natural oils as you're showering. Like I know you guys saw me use my Dove, so now I've recently started interchanging as we're transitioning into winter. And if you're an OG on this channel, then you already know that I really detest and hate um, washing rags. So I really love this exfoliating mitt which I got from Clix. The only con is that it is not as long as the Clean Logic one which I was using last year. So it doesn't really 
reach your back like you need to really do some gymnastics to like really get to your back but then otherwise it's a cheaper option um it's only like about 50 rand at clicks i stand to be corrected because guys inflation is a real thing so it can be 50 rand today and tomorrow it's 200 rand Feet are notorious for being ashy so I don't use the exfoliating mitts on my feet. I actually use the My Earth exfoliating brush and it actually lathers really well so you don't have to worry about that and I just use that along with my same shower gel. I then go in with this intimate wash I only use it on the outside of my coochie and I know this one is a very controversial step so do it if you want to I'm not forcing you to do it and I'm actually in the process of recording a video of trying it out for the first time because I actually never used to incorporate this step it's just something which I'm experimenting with oh coffee beans oh 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 i am clutching my pearls right now if there is any product that you're gonna take away from this shower routine let this be it this is the vanilla patchouli body polish i was actually influenced by swazi on twitter shout out to her i really love this stuff from the smell to the texture to the way that um when you rinse it off only the sugary part washes down the drain but then the oil remains on you giving you this nice glow as you step out of the shower guys i really love this stuff and hence it's my final step in the shower and um did i mention that i got it from woolworths yeah this body polish is from woolworths sorry guys i just really love this stuff like ah, if you guys if you guys take anything from this i'm sorry for clapping on a voiceover but if you guys take anything from this shower routine guys let this be it you will not regret i really especially if you love like vanilla scents you will really love this body scrub I say final step i'm sorry i lied my final step is my pure soap after washing off my himalaya face mask i then go in with another fave again if you've been on the lives then you already know how much of a fave this soap is in this house and um, i really love this soap also for winter because it is literally a pure soap it is soap free it has no fragrance and it doesn't have all the harsher ingredients that you find in regular face washes and cleansers so i really love this stuff so stepping out of the shower i go in with my shield deodorant nothing has changed there i'm still using the dry confidence shield deodorant i then use my vichy mineral 89 serum another fave for this cold season because it has hyaluronic acid and if you follow me on instagram if you don't i hate you i'm lying but if you follow me on instagram then you already know that i've started my nivea lumina 630 journey so these are the products i'm currently using in my skincare routine to moisturize i then go in with my nivea rich nourishing lotion i use this together with my bio oil and i think we can all agree that globally when it comes to moisturizers nivea takes a trophy honey so i use this lotion i've been using it for quite some time now i haven't dished the epimex i usually just interchange them and for my next step i realized that we only prioritize spf when it comes to our face so I don't know about y'all but i'm not trying to be aging prematurely so i went ahead and got myself this spf spray i really love that it's a spray because it makes it very convenient when applying um and very quick as well because you don't need to have like a whole other applying process like you're applying lotion for the second time and um it's also very cheap it's about 100 rand and it's a huge bottle and a little goes a long way so i really love this every sun spray
for the scent of the day i layer my golden decade by zara together with my ysl libre if you can't afford the 2000 rand 5000 rand perfumes i highly suggest you go to zara they have many great dupes that actually last and once i'm done fragrancing and smelling good i then go ahead and change and journal and go on with my day as a clean smelling good self-care princess that i am thank you so much for watching guys i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one Today,